Welcome to this LEX 18 Digital Conversation. I'm Dia Davidson. You know, fall is now officially here. The leaves are starting to turn colors and all the fun activities associated with being outdoors at the farm are now in full swing. To fully enjoy this time of year, why not check out one of the many local farms in our area to enjoy Kentucky Proud products as well as fresh new recipe ideas. Here today is Megan Fields. She's manager at Eckerd's Orchard located in her sales. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, this is so much fun. It this is. just makes me feel like fall. fall. Like Thanksgiving <laughs> is right around That's the corner. Right. So let's That's talk right. a little bit about what's going on at the orchard. Okay. So right now we've got um, all of our full entertainment going, our jump pad, our big slide, um, our playground is open, corn maze, it's fully going. So we begin haunted hay rides and bonfires this weekend. Oh my so gosh. we're excited about those. So when do you guys get started putting all this stuff together? Because this can't just happen <laughs> in a weekend. No, it doesn't. So like, for instance, pumpkins we plant in June. Okay. So we start as early as June preparing for the fall. Oh, wow. And so, um, and then we start in August actually getting the farm ready and looking good and putting out the additional entertainment and things. Right. So it's, it's a process, but we open up for fall season, September, the weekend after Labor Day. Oh so. my. My gosh. Yeah. Well, we thank you guys for all that hard work, but let's talk a little bit about pumpkins. Okay. Because everybody is, you know, kind of starting to look and think about pumpkins, especially to carve and, right. and either to roast the seeds, uh -huh. which I didn't realize for the longest time that you could actually roast and eat them. Right. Because right. you usually think you just gut them and you, throw them. You do. But you do. what's the best way to pick that perfect gourd? Well, I mean, really, if you're just looking for decoration, it's really up to you as far as, you know, size and Pinterest has helped out a whole lot with yes. these things. Yes. So, you know, the white pumpkin, and like I've got a warty pumpkin here so those have become really popular as well since oh. Pinterest has come along right, so right. but it's just you know really it's it's based on size and color that you're wanting and and the uniqueness that you want for your front door or your business or whatever what's the life of a, a pumpkin once you've carved it once you've carved it, it's about two weeks, yeah, I was you know, say, and, they get and it all depends on weather. You know, this 90 degree weather will bake know, it, bake it <laughs> right. right really fast, especially after it's been carved. Right. But there are some ideas on the internet, like you can paint them, or um, there's a spray that you can use over them that'll that'll you know lengthen the life of them a little bit. Now, so. for for folks who are not as crafty, do you guys have them already pre-done? We do not have oh, them okay. pre-done. Okay. We we leave that creativity Activity up to you. you. Okay. For Sure. Okay. Yeah, we leave that creativity up to you guys because, you know, everybody wants to do something different. Like something that's become really popular is car not fully carving into the pumpkin, but doing like scratch art on yes. them or painting them. Okay. So that's those are two things that have become really popular okay. lately. So. All right, but yeah. you know what's always been fun with my family? I remember back with my grandparents. It's going to pick apples. Uh -huh. Do yeah. you like uh, families go out and pick your apples? Absolutely, we yeah. sure do. That's what all of our fruits that we grow there at the farm, we do allow people pick your own on. So that's something that's unique. You know, we like to support families and, you know, family's so important to us. And so we're local and you can actually come out and see where your food's grown, yeah. meet us that grow your food. Right. And then you can pick it off the tree yourself or off the vine or off the bush or whatever, you know, we're picking at, at, at that the time. time. But yes, we have full, we're in full blown apple season. So we grow 35 different varieties at Eckert's. Oh, wow. Yes. I didn't yes. realize that there were that many <laughs> varieties there, of there apple. There are about 72 varieties varieties out there, but yes, we grow about 35 there at the farm in Versailles. What do you have represented here? So today I have these two large apples are our red delicious, which is a common apple that most right. folks know about. Right. And then these smaller reds are um, Jonathan's, which are, you know, also a common apple, but you don't find those in the grocery store as much. Yeah, I was going to say, now what's the texture of a Jonathan? Jonathan is a crispy apple as okay. well. A lot of folks like to use it for applesauce and to cook and, oh. and to fry okay. with. Okay. Um, because of hold up, I guess. Right, okay. right. And it's an old, that's one of those old generation apples that, you know, a lot of folks Our grandmas use would know. Yeah. 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 And I know a lot of folks use those and we use those at the farm a lot of times for our caramel apples because they hold up well. Okay. Is that what you've got here? It on the, is. Okay. The Jonathan is what I've got today. So okay. today we're going to make um, apple nachos. <laughs> I know. This is what we were talking about in the newsroom. Yeah. Apples and nachos. Apples, you don't think right, of the two going together. Right. So we've got this cool little peeler okay. core thing here. You guys have it and at all the farm? I did, uh -huh, we do have it at the farm. Okay. And I've got the peeler part turned off here. Okay. And I'm just going to um, 
show you kind of how it works. It just spirals the, the apple and it cores it all at the same time. And mm -hmm. I watched you put it together and mm -hmm. it was really simple. Yeah, so this is not a hard easy. thing. Right, right, right. You just kind of need a screwdriver here and then right. it will attach to your table and it peels your apples and cores them so fast. So that's something we have at the farm that's really a cool tool to have in your house. Safe for the kids to use? Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Safe for the kids to use. Okay. You know, you probably as the adult want to stick the apple on the spikes, sure. but other than that, kids can use this for sure. And it's something to get the kids involved with. Oh, sure, because they love absolutely. to do this. Okay, yes. so once yeah. we've cored the so apple. So once I've cored the apple, I just sliced it in half, and okay. so then you've got your little um, wedges here or whatever. Okay. And this is something, again, to get the kids involved with, and if they don't eat apples, it's a way to not add a whole lot of sugar, yes. but, you know, so you can add anything. I brought caramel today, so you can just mm -hmm. sprinkle the caramel over it there and make it real pretty on the plate. This is also a good appetizer for, like, tailgating or, say, you know. Yeah. Um, I also brought some chocolate, so I'll pour a little chocolate, chocolate over it. Chocolate's always yeah, good. Chocolate's that's always magnesium, good. so that's, that's an excuse, right. yeah. That's right. You know, and then if you don't have allergies or whatever, you've mm -hmm. got nuts that you can put on them and okay. it, it makes them good. You're, you're adding a little protein there with your nuts or, or your pecans as well. And what a fun way to do it too for kids, especially like my daughter has braces now. Uh -huh. and so she can't bite in right. to the apple. Right. So this would be something Absolutely. good for her. Yeah. And if you like the caramel apple flavor, but you don't like to eat the caramel apple, uh -huh. just do caramel and drizzle the nuts over it and you've got the same effect of, of a without caramel apple breaking yep, your without off. breaking your teeth. Yeah. Now the little kids like sprinkles. Oh, so, you know, you yes. add your sprinkles and make those pretty or you can add your little colored M&Ms. And the kids can do this themselves. You know, each of them can have a plate. And, you know, you can have them in little bowls like this and just decorate them. And, then and they make a healthy them. treat. Yeah, healthy But another treat. healthy treat is an apple pie, for, <laughs> especially with ice cream because right. that's calcium, that's right? That's right. <laughs> that's right. You know, and we talk about local and, you know, we partner with several businesses here in Lexington like Crank and Boom when, yes. when you talk about ice yes. cream. We um, partner with Crank and Boom, and then um, we partnered with um, Saw Good yes. when it was peach season. Yes. So it's been really cool to be able to partner with those folks and, and deliver. So we can get your pies th at those no, locations? No, our pies are actually at our location. Okay. We dropped fruit off, and they used them in recipes at their farms. So, oh, okay. Or yeah. at their, at their stores. stores. Okay. Yeah, Good. yeah. So, like, Crank and Boom uses our strawberries and our um, apple cider and our apples for their apple cider sorbet and their oh. strawberry ice cream. So it's really cool to get to partner with them. Those folks and and share what we grow here you know with them oh sure so. and another yeah. apple treat the apple cinnamon donuts, donuts. that's right dun, you dun, can't dun. come to the farm without eating our apple cider donuts right. they are a staple that's kind of your signature isn't it it is yeah. absolutely so people come out and they love the donuts and they start we actually make them all year long from when we open in may all the way through november we do we do really? make the apple cider donuts that machine cranks up about 6 a.m every morning and it does not stop all day this time of year. So. Oh my gosh. Do you know how to use that machine? Absolutely. You, do? <laughs> made a, you can't be out there and not <laughs> that's not right. Use that's it. right. I've made plenty of donuts in my career Have you at really? Eckert's. Yeah. Oh yeah. My. And I enjoy it. You know, I love the bakery side of it. There's oh, yeah. I love every part of it. I grew up farming myself right there in Woodford County. So, you know, it's been enjoyable to get to farm again, oh, yeah. you know, real close to home and get to see folks. And, and I love being able to visit with my customers and tell them, you know, how we grow things. And that's been a lot of fun. And so. that's a sense of pride, the Kentucky it proud, is. isn't Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. You know, and it, it's fun to be able to tell people where their food comes from. Oh, sure. And then them get to see it. And, and when they take it. a wa wagon ride out on the farm, you know, you know, they'll come in and ask questions about, you know, the blackberry crop for next year or whatever. So it's been really cool. And I'm sure just watching the kids, too, enjoy it. It is. It's so much fun to watch the kids. Because they like to play in the dirt, but then to understand the importance of the earth. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We started school tours today, and we have counties all over the state of Kentucky that come to the farm, and we get to share with them, you know, why bees are important sure. for pollination. And, and, you know, we've got a, a sample of our honey here. Yeah. We have honeybees there at the farm, and so that honey comes straight from our our farm there in Woodford County and so that's good for so many things local allergies that's what I was gonna say yeah. I heard that if you use the honey that mm -hmm. is from a location that you're kind of right. having allergies that it helps to build up your it immunity does. it does really? yes yes so the pollen that they collect you know when they collect their pollen and take it back to the hive right. it helps you um, resist the immunities for the pollen that, that, that causes kind of your ahead. allergies right, right. right. so yeah it's really cool wow. Wow. it's it's amazing that 
God's created all this yeah, and yes. we're able to, you know, sell and we it, thank and, it for that. and we yes. use it, you know, for <laughs> yeah. those things. I also brought a um, spaghetti squash. That's the yellow okay. squash right here. Oh, is this the one where mm -hmm. if you um, cut it uh -huh. and, it, and you string it out, you it do. looks like spaghetti? It does. And it tastes like spaghetti. My grandmother, no, um, it doesn't. She, my grandmother will, she uses it in her spaghetti sometimes. Yes. And it's good. It's really good. You can also bake it and put a little butter and a um, little cinnamon over it and it's really, really good as well. Oh yes. Uh -huh, and these yeah. other gourds. Those two are acorn squash, and and okay. you can use those in soups, or you know you can bake those and eat them as well. Okay. Similar to you know a yellow summer squash, okay. um, you can bake those in. Rich in protein. Absolutely, I and know. and you know vitamin D it's and vitamin C. C yeah. So yeah. you know any of these gourds, they're all edible, and they you can use them for decoration or to eat, and they're healthy. I mean yeah. they're a good healthy. Um, a kind of a source. addition yeah, and, and source absolutely. for food. And, and they're a good side too. Exactly. So. Apple cider can't have apple. fall without apple That's cider. right. That's right. So that's just pressed apples and that's what we use for our apple cider. Wow. And then, you know, if you want hot apple cider, you add a little cinnamon or some mulling spices to it and it's delicious. Spices or other things that's that are more right. adult you can add to it as well. That's <laughs> yes, right. Yes, that's yes, yes. Right. Another thing I was... I had to say I, I went to the grocery store to do this. Uh -huh. I did not realize that you guys make Apple we sauce. do. We have our applesauce, and you were asking if it was gluten free, yeah. and it is. Yes. So it's you know just processed apples, and then from our farm, right. and um, it is a little cinnamon, a little sugar, so you and don't have any it. wheat products in that. So. And that's mm -hmm. the beauty too of getting things from the farm. You're not going to get the preservatives. You're not going right. to get all the other weird stuff. You're in there, exactly right? right. So yeah, yeah. so that's a, the other double benefit. Right, right. And then what's this last thing? So that's apple butter <gasps> that we've got, and um, it we saw. <laughs> We have apple, peach, and um, pumpkin butter, and those are all delicious. Um, pumpkin butter? Yes, How yes. How does that taste? It tastes really good. It's it's dark. It's like a pumpkin pie kind of a filling? Similar, okay. but it doesn't have the texture. It's not as thick as pumpkin pie. Okay. It's um, more like a spread, right. and it is, it's delicious. The peach butter that we sell is great yeah. over pork. Oh, gosh. We use it over pork. This is just good over everything. It is. But, You're you know, right. a lot of people kind of, you know, tongue-in-cheek saying pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Right. Pumpkin spice. Right. What's your spin on pumpkin spice? <laughs> well, pumpkin spice is great. I yeah. mean, you know, we we support anything pumpkin because that's what we grow. <laughs> um, I think poor apple cider gets a bad, bad rap. rap. Especially this <laughs> time of year. That's it has right. to kind of fall until, I guess, December exactly. when, it, when it comes back around. Exactly. Tell me, when do you guys close up for the season? So we'll close, um, the. we'll be open in, on weekends in November. So okay. once the, um, the season ends in October, we'll be open on Saturday and Sunday okay. up until the weekend before Thanksgiving. Gotcha. And we're doing pie sales currently for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, and you can come pick up your pie on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. It'll be fresh baked right there. Got to put an order in now. Got to put an order in now. Okay. Yeah, we won't have any extras. It'll be phone or online. You can do either. Okay. You can go to Eckerd's.com or you can call and order it either one or stop by the store and order it there at the farm. Okay. Recipes that you guys suggest, do you have them in a cookbook or we online? Do. Or we do. We do. So this um, apple nachos, and then I had brought some oven roasted pumpkin seeds today as Ooh. well. And so um, those are super simple. Once you get them washed and dried, it's just toss them in a little bit of oil, and, and you can either use cinnamon sugar to make them sweet mm -hmm. or a little salt. And I like a little garlic powder in mine, oh, and they're they're believe it or not, they're full of fiber and vitamins as well. So they're they're a good healthy snack. Yeah, for the they kids are. Too. They yeah. are. I keep them in my pocket because during the day I'm running around the farm, right. and you know they, hungry, just they keep me full. Day. And yeah. yeah, they're they're great. So. Um, all of those plus more are in our fall Eckert's cookbook that we have there at the farm. We have one for every season to go with every fruit that we have. So. All right. And the yeah. Eckert swag, because pick kindness, is an right. awesome, awesome it slogan is. to have. It is. Absolutely. We, we love to, you know, we love what we do there at the farm, and we love our guests that come out. And so we choose kindness and try every day when somebody comes out to give them a smile. And we're, what better way to do it than with food, right? That's right. That's it's right. always good to see you. Thank, thank you so you. much. And thank you so much for watching this LEX18 Digital Conversation. For more on this and the other digital conversations, just log on to lex18.com and click on the community link and you'll see Digital Conversation. Until next time, I'm Dia Davidson.